Sunday broadcast of the NBA. The battle-tested marksmen in the backcourt, Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers go up against the New Jersey Nets and their super quick point man, Devin Harris. Lakers, Nets, up next. And Pau Gasol with his pregame routine. The Nets play before the hometown crowd. We've got it right here on 2K Sports, live from New Jersey. Today's game marks the continuation of the Lakers' road schedule. They're entering a bit of a soft spot in the schedule, facing off Clark against some of the lower-ranked teams in the league, and we'll see if they're able to take advantage and pad their win total. Kevin, this team is really solid in its identity. They know what they can do, and they know what they're about. They're all about winning and producing at a high level, and they're having that kind of success right now. And now the Lakers' starting group. Powell and Bynum filling up the middle. Fisher and Kobe man the backcourt. And our test. And for the Nets, and Derek Favors are the forwards. Anthony Morrow out there with Devin Harris and Williams. Here is Harris. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, I caught up with Avery Johnson. Although this is their first battle with the Lakers this season, he said one thing that hasn't changed is how complicated it is to find a way to handle both Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol simultaneously. He said they complement each other perfectly. You've got Kobe who can kill you from the perimeter and Gasol who can do it from the paint. It's a no-win situation defensively. Their championships will attest to that, guys. Thanks again, Doris. Kobe gets the bucket. You know, Kobe battled injuries last season, a broken index finger that became arthritic, but somehow he still found a way to lead his team. Testimony to his will, Kevin. I mean, you think about it, 27 points a game, fourth in the league in scoring, cold-blooded, the best finisher perhaps in the league. And when the Lakers need a big shot, he typically comes through. One thing you like about the Lakers, this is a team that not only Clark is a solid team at home, but they are just as terrific on the road. Well, 23 road wins is a, is a good mark, Kevin, but they won 29 the year before, so they did go a step back. But nonetheless, when you've got the kind of championship pedigree that this team has, you're not so much worried about what your numbers say as much as you are about how healthy you are and what level are we playing at when it's time to go into postseason. And that one's good by favorites. Here's Kobe. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Chicago. Harris against Fisher. Over favors. And Kobe Bryant again. Kobe's got his second basket of the game. For the Lakers, Clark, on the road, I'd say it was a relative step back. And, and, and I'm agreeing with you on that point. Uh, you've got to guard home court. Yep. And then I guess you just say, just give me a winning record on the road. Oh, yeah, exactly, because you look across the league, typically you're only going to have, what, six, seven teams, maybe eight, that have significant yes. road winning records. So clearly anytime you're, you're, you're above 500 on the road and you do a good job at home, then you feel like you've got a chance to make a run in the playoffs. And the elite teams, the old Chicago Bulls with MJ, Kobe's, and Shaq's Lakers. I mean, we've had some anomalies over the years. Yeah. But, uh, but a winning record on the road is, I think, a victory unto its own, even if it's a game over 500 away from home. Exactly. I agree wholeheartedly. And again, another point just to piggyback on what you said with the elite team, they always know that if they're healthy, they can get it done on the road in the playoffs. Here's Kobe after Devin Harris's score. And Kobe Bryant again! Kobe's got six points. They start off shooting 80% from the field after that last one. That's a great start for them. Morrow, guarded by Kobe, stolen away. The interior D was lurking on that one. Shoot it, shoot it. He's guarded by Williams. Kobe misses. And here are the Nets. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. I didn't think we saw a real strong outing defensively from them, Kevin. And very few teams can get away with winning. Maybe a handful of games, if that, relying solely on their offense. Lopez. And, yep, that balls, and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. 
The end one is good, so a three-point play that time. A look here now at Brooke Lopez, seven foot tall, 265 pounds, in his third year on a Stanford, taking Clark in the 2008 draft, number 10 overall. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I think there was um, some concerns about his athleticism, but it was misguided. I mean, this guy is big, he's strong, he's smart, and he's highly skilled. First one falls. You know, Clark, they say that Kobe observed a lot when he was in the Olympic Village when he played with Team USA. Well, you can only imagine, Kevin. I mean, a guy like him looking at all of those other Olympic athletes, he saw the same level of dedication to their craft that he's always had. So I think that had to be affirming and inspiring for him. The attention to detail. Yeah. And Kobe drops them both. Here's Harris. 11 points for him in that last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Outside Williams. Pass to Lopez. Lays out. And for Kobe in those Olympic games, his dedication really shined through. Yeah, that's what everybody talked about. His competitive spirit, his commitment to doing the right thing, and his attention to detail. And he soaked in the whole experience and enjoyed seeing other high-level athletes have the same fire and spirit that he did. Harris misses. The Lakers trail. This game against New Jersey here. It's their first look at the Nets. Yep, they'll see him twice this season, so not a lot of face time with these guys. Now here's Kobe with the shot. And again, no good by the Lakers. About five and a half minutes left in the first. Harris outside. Cuts off the pass. Make the easy pass. That's what happens when you don't. And the people do like to see these interconference battles. Well, I agree with you, Kevin. Definitely in some sports, you don't get to play all the other teams on your home court. So the fans love coming out for these. He makes such intelligent plays with the basketball. Always aware, always a threat to score. So it's New Jersey now. They trail by one. Favors backs in. Defended by Gasol. Five on the clock. Here's Favors. The Lakers in the lead. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. That was some great tenacity on the court from Kevin. I mean, good solid D. Lots of activities with the active feet and hands. Getting, getting their hands on balls, slapping balls away. I think that helped them jumpstart their offense. And first time out of the game called for New Jersey. down to the players you don't want on you when you're putting up a shot. The leaders in blocks over the last month. You take a look at Gasol, a fierce inside defender. Tops in the NBA in blocks. Boy, that is an impressive number. My goodness, can he keep that up? If he can, boy, he'll continue to have a humongous impact on his team. Harris against Fisher. Harris with it. 
go, 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 go. Morrow guarded by Kobe. And the Nets miss again. Lakers leading by three. Let's swing it over to Doris Burke. Well, guys, midway through last season, Ron Artest stepped on the scale and it read 266 pounds. He decided to lose some weight, so he started to eat fish and vegetables and doing some more running. He said, I'm trying to get my defense back to what it was a couple of years ago. I think the running has helped me shed a lot of weight. Guys, Artest, a tough defender, but staying light helps him defend smaller forwards. Guys, back to you. Smart move, Doris. He can play some four, but the three definitely his best position. Here's Lopez, and good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. He's found the touch in this quarter, becoming the hot hand for him. And the Nets making a change here. Murphy's checked in. The Lakers also making some changes. Ratliff is checked in, and Matt Barnes is subbed in for Ron Artest. And he makes the free throw. Brooke Lopez was frustrated at times last season, Kevin, by a lack of touches as the, as the Nets tried to get Yee G and Lian going at the offensive end. Harris against Fisher. Pass to Kobe. It's tipped. Here's Barnes. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. Anthony Moore. His second person, second team. At the line for the Lakers, Matt Barnes. Two shots. And the first one drops. And it would really seem like Lopez with 50% field goal percentage is the player you would want to focus on offensively. Yeah, you know, trying to see what they had in a rebuilding season, they tried to spread it out. But clearly, with Lopez, he needs more touches. Quentin Ross has checked in for Anthony Morrow. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Clark, looking back at last year, just a really tough season for the Nets overall. And if you're a struggling team in the NBA, you're really going to feel it out West. Without, I mean, the West is no mercy. We talk about an unforgiving conference. I mean, when teams that are struggling go out there, they get kicked hard while they're down. Here's Fisher, right now averaging five points a game. Kobe, pass to Gasol. Murphy's there. Williams comes with the double team. Let's go with the three, and Kobe Bryant gets the three. Kobe's got 13 points. Right now, their offense is playing through him, actually going through him just about every time, and he's answered the call with tremendous play. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings. The season in full bloom. Taking a look at Miami. Right now, they're off to a fast start. First place in the conference. And, of course, there's the Nets. Not really any threat right now. Here's Harris. 2.59 left in the first quarter. Just two to shoot. Here's Ross. Had a piece of it. And it's the Lakers ball. They're on a 13-5 run here. And Fisher kicks to Kobe. A foul called, and he earns a trip to the line. You know, one of the stories last season, Clark, in the playoffs for the Lakers was after that early scare to the thunder of Oklahoma City in the first round, the Lakers really turned it up in the playoffs. In fact, it was that game five. They kind of rebooted. They kind of found themselves. Yeah, they certainly did. Sometimes you have to have your back against the wall. You've got to go through that crucible 
of almost losing an important game in the playoffs to be able to get your second win and to gain that extra um, wave of confidence. And that's kind of what happened with the Lakers. I mean, anytime you face a team like the Thunder that has the leading score in the league in Kevin Durant, you know it's not going to be easy. And the Lakers saw that to be true, and yet they were able to work through that. Thunder had those young legs. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of confidence. Yes. And an unbelievable building. Yeah, they that, didn't blink. They no, did not blink. not at all. They were relishing the opportunity, thrilled to be in the playoffs, but they felt like they could beat, not only play with the Lakers, they felt like they could beat the Lakers, Kevin. Here's Harris. Here's Lopez. Nails the turnaround jumper. Lopez has got 12. That turnaround, Jay, is not easy, but he sure made it look that way. Clark back in that postseason matchup. I mean, sweeping the Jazz is no easy feat, given you have to win two in a row up in Salt Lake City at the Energy Solutions Arena. No, not easy at all, but you talk about that series against the Thunder. The Lakers had to win a fifth game on the road on a last-second shot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Kevin, that can catapult you to a higher-level performance in the next series, and I think that's what you saw with the Lakers when they got away from the Thunder and then were able to sweep the Jazz. Jazz just didn't have the size to compete against Los Angeles. Exactly. Too much size with Gasol and Odom buying them up front. That's an awful lot to overcome over a 48-minute ball game. And Okur was out, and yep. uh, Karolinko was coming back from injury. There were some issues there for the Jazz. Exactly. They were um, undermanned and undersized, and that's no way to try to beat the Lakers. Here's Gasol following the bucket by the Nets. With the fadeaway, Kobe can't hit. That's not something you'll see very often. Got the mid-range jumper he wanted, but off target. Outside Williams. Harris against Fisher. First one falls for him. Some changes for New Jersey. Metro's checked in, and Travis Outlaw subbed in for Terrence Williams. And the Lakers making a change here. Good on both. Here's Brown. 53 seconds left in the first. Outside, Kobe. And Kobe throws it down hard. A replay here, the Sprite Slam Cam showing us how it's done. I tell you what, Kevin, both teams have been on a tear. This could be a very high scoring game. Here is Harris. Here's Outlaw, and again, it's the Nets missing. Lakers leading by five. On the wing, Brown, guarded by Harris. Brown kicks to Gasol. A fadeaway. Johan Petro pulls it in. Well, he faded away on it for no good reason. He shouldn't have made that shot harder than it had to be. Harris passes to James. Back to Harris. The three. Good. Harris has got seven points. Harris! Some great action here as the first quarter concludes. Lakers lead by two. Yeah, their interior D has been terrific. They're throwing shots out of there left and right. The NBA here on 2K Sports. Coming up this Friday, LeBron James and the Miami Heat go up against Amari Stoudemire and the New York Knicks. It's an Eastern Conference duel. You don't want to miss it.
A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. Here's Fisher. So with Gasol on the bench. This is Phil Jackson's lineup. Artest and Odom in at the forward slots. Derek Fisher out there with Brown and Bynum. Odom against Murphy. The shot by Odom, no good. The D served it up on the platter, and he still wasn't able to convert. He's got to be disappointed. Oh, I love Lamar Odom because he's so versatile, and not just offensively, you know, he's defensively versatile as well. I mean, he can bang with the big fellas as well as play guys out on the perimeter yeah. some. All good points. Here's Odom. Pass to Bynum. Down to five on the shot clock. Favors. Snatches it inside. Having a guy like Odom in your rotation, as you were talking about, is such a luxury for the Lakers for those reasons you just said. And he seems to thrive as a plug-and-play kind of a guy, too. I mean, he can do a lot for you and doesn't always need a lot of time to do it. Now let's send it over to Doris. Doris. Guys, there were a lot of questions about whether last season would be Phil Jackson's final one, whether he'd retire. After they won the title and he set a record for most coaching championships, he said he was leaning towards retiring. He decided to return, though, saying, count me in. After a couple of weeks of deliberation, it's time to get back to the challenge of putting together a team that can defend its title. It'll be the last stand for me, and I hope it's a grand one. Guys, good to have him back. It certainly is. Thank you, Doris. Here's Brown. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. You gotta stop the layup there. Make him earn his points from the line. And the first one at the line is good. Clark, you think back to what Bynum did in the playoffs last year, and you have to remember he was playing with a slight meniscus tear in his right knee. And I know how painful that can be. I had one of those. I mean, it hurts with every step, but he felt like the pain was manageable. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Farmar. He's covered by Fisher. And here's Favors. He dumps it. Oh! That can crush a defender's spirit when he finishes with that kind of flourish. Clark, is there anything better than a slam like that? I don't think so. Here's Fisher. And here is Brown. And Bynum backing in. Bynum missing again. A big possession here. And they come back to take the lead? Hey, right here, right here. Now Farmar. Here's James. Another one falls for New Jersey. Nice screen to set up the J. Excellent offensive execution right there. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Now the 2K leaderboard, a list of the teams that have rebounded the ball tremendously over the last 10 games. Look at the Lakers. 
A team with outstanding rebounders. Number two in the league. Kevin, that's been a nice run lately. They're making a strong effort on the board, and it's working and paying dividends for them. And the Lakers making a change here. Draws the foul. He'll get a trip to the line. Looking at this Laker team along with Dallas, L.A. had the best record against the East of all the Western Conference teams. And Kevin, not surprisingly, those were your top two seeds in the West when the regular season came to an end. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the stripe. Going back to the Lakers' East record, having a good or even greater interconference record is a key to winning just at the beginning your division. Yeah, and not only your division, but beyond that, Kevin, if you want to win the West, you need to be able to beat teams from the East, and that's exactly what they did. And these conferences take great pride overall in the kind of teams they have and I think right now it's fair to say that the West has a little bit of an advantage over yeah I think that's been the case for most of the last decade yep. when you take a look at it he's just so gifted offensively he's a tough guy to match up with Harris with it he has seven he's covered by Fisher And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. Lamar Odom picks one up. Derek favors Clark, just a big body out of Georgia Tech. Yeah, you know, he's only 6'10", but he's got the long wingspan, and he eats up a lot of space. I really think he's going to be a power forward as his career progresses. Um, perhaps cut out of the um, Carl Malone cloth, if you will. A big guy who can handle his work down low. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Well, we all know about the Nets' struggles last year. Only eight wins at home for them during the season. Yeah, and Kevin, for a while, they flirted with the um, NBA record for fewest wins in a season of nine back in 72-73 by the 76ers. So they um, were historically bad. But with the Nets' home troubles, there is truly a silver lining with the brand new arena. Well, that's on the horizon, but I don't know of any building that gets you wins if you don't have the players that can produce in that new building. True. But they've got some people that they can rely on, particularly in Brook Lopez. He's a dominant low post scorer. And Devin Harris. Yeah, nice point guard as well. The first one falls. With his versatility at 6'10", Odom's a great fit for the Lakers' triangle offense. Yeah, I agree with that. Certainly, I concur with that. I mean, he rebounds. He blocks shots. He's a terrific ball handler. He can pass it, and he can score inside and out. I mean, he's got everything you want in a um, guy coming off your bench. Both good from the line that time. Well, you can't top perfection. That's a great job. Perfect from the line this quarter. Outlaw with it. Launches it. Rebounded by Odom. Clark, Odom is even more valuable on a deep squad like the Lakers because you can truly work him in at three separate positions. And he can excel at all of them because he's that versatile. They double-team Kobe. Buries it from 14 feet. Kobe's got 23 points. I'll tell you what, he's been an efficient scorer for them. He executes, takes good shots, and he always seems to make a basket when it's needed most. He's excellent at timely baskets. You've got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Here's our test, and another three for the Lakers. These guys are in the zone. They're taking it over. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. Make a jump shot, sitting in the bitches on the 
take a shot and let it go. Two, take a level with the S in the flow. And go dip and dash, defense, pack the trash. Take a three and know you heard the splash. Let's take shots my game speed is an 85. I'm a hall of fame with Laker pride. I pop outside, I take it inside. I cross you over with that old school triple drive. You love this club. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. We look at the Lakers. Long way to go still in the season, but even so, they've got the top spot. And of course, the Dallas Mavericks, two games back. Here's Harris. He has seven. He's covered by Fisher. Lopez backs in. Now outlaw. Knocked loose. In the blink of an eye, he saw that pump fake and then made the takeaway. Down low. Takes it up. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Here's Harris. Ten points separating the teams. Favors backs him down to stop the run. Kept alive. Somehow misses the one-handed flush. And here's Fisher. Outside, Kobe. Pass to Bynum. Arcs it high. And he gets the bucket. Foul is called. One free throw for him. Well, everybody's trying to do it one-on-one -on -one defensively. I'm not seeing much help defense out there at all. You've got to play together at the defensive end of the floor. You have to if you're going to try to win. Some changes for New Jersey. Terrence Williams has checked in for Outlaw. And it's Farmar in for Devin Harris. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. Interesting note about Andrew Bynum. He's the youngest player ever drafted into the NBA at 17 years of age. Uh, but a guy who's really played well for the Lakers. Yeah, he has. He could be a dominant force down the road. And as long as the present one year of college rule stays in place, I think he'll retain that distinction, Kevin. Two shots. That free throw missing. Terrence Williams out of Louisville taken 11th in last year's draft. Yeah, and it was a turbulent, bumpy start for him, Kevin, in his rookie year. Uh, but as is the case with most rookies, he got better as the season wore on. I think his work ethic is going to allow him to be a contributing player um, going forward for the Nets. And the second free throw, good. Here's Brown. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. And he drops it in on the way up. He did a great job there to get his shot off against the taller defender. That's a nice play. And here are the Nets. It's a 13-point game. Morrow guarded by Kobe. Here's Morrow. They rule this one. Goaltending. Help the shot. Nice bucket there. He isn't naturally quick, but he's deceptive. He kept the defense off balance and then took it to the rack. Here's Brown. Under four minutes left in the half. Tipped. The break is on. Releases from 15. Farmar, no good. So it's the Lakers now. Brown kicks to Bryant. The dump off, Gasol. Kobe with the bucket. Kobe's got 27 points. They don't seem to have many answers for him in this game. He's doing a terrific job out there. Outstanding work. Barnes against Williams. Here's Lopez. Scooped up. Favors. And laying it in as that one falls through. He's got five. 
Nice. Big momentum builders, those second chance points. Round the pass to Bryant. Kobe draws the double. Inside to Gasol. Barnes shoots the three. And another three for the Lakers. The defense made the mistake of playing off him, and he drained it from deep. And the Nets with possession. They trail by 14. Now Lopez. He's got 12. That's really not the kind of performance that his team needs from him here in this quarter. Barnes passes to Brown. Pass to Bynum. Baseline jumper. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lakers are a good defensive team last year. Clark holding their opponents to just 33% shooting from beyond the arc. We know the three-point shot is the great equalizer. But to have that kind of three-point defense speaks volumes. It really does, and that led the league in that particular category, Kevin. Teams that relied heavily on the three ball really struggled against the Lakers, and I think part of that was the length. The Lakers able to get out and challenge that three-point line, and um, everybody is conscious of making that a key part of what they do defensively. It's a good point. Here's Barnes following the basket by Brook Lopez. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. Well, how about Kobe in this one? He's got 27 points, and he's produced six points from the free throw line. That's nice work. More than half their points have come from him alone. The free throw drops for Kobe. And New Jersey making some changes. Troy Murphy, he's checked in for Lopez. Humphreys comes in for Derek Favors. And Devin Harris subbed in for Jordan Farmer. The Lakers also changing it up. Lamar Odom is checked in for Bynum. Our test comes in for Matt Barnes. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Shannon Brown. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here is Harris. He has seven. Morrow guarded by Kobe. Kobe with the steal. When someone's being that careless and sloppy with the ball, they're begging for it to be taken. Fouled, and he was real close to getting the three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah, he wanted that three-point play. That shot came real close to going down. Shooting for Los Angeles. Derek Fisher. Two shots. And he makes the first. And so he hits both. Here is Harris. 1.14 left in the second. And no good. But close in that one, so he'll shoot two. Lamar Odom picks one up. At the line of the Nets, Devin Harris taking two shots. No good on that one. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. Here comes Kobe. It's a 16-point game. Fisher against Harris. Fades back. That's good from Odom on the assist from Derek Fisher. And the Lakers lead by 18. Here's Harris. He has seven. 
He's covered by Fisher. Pass to Williams. That's all you. Just five on the clock. Morrow guarded by Kobe. Odom grabs the board. Here's Fisher. Back to Kobe. Harris on the double team. And Bryant kicks to Fisher. Here's Odom. No luck on the three-point attempt. Harris outside. Hits the outside fadeaway. Harris has got nine points. So not much of a contest here so far as we end the first half. Well, how about Kobe in this one? He has 29 points, and he's given them a lot of points from the free throw line. What energy he's shown today, whether it's on the offensive end or on deep. Lakers ahead, up by 16. Damon Bruce here. Welcome to the HP Halftime Report. So far, we have a laugher out at the Prudential Center. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against New Jersey. The scoring has been ridiculous, as has the tempo. It seems like every shot has hit the bottom of the net. Kobe's been lights out in the first two quarters. He's got 29 points. He's shooting efficiently from both the floor and the free throw line. And giving it their all, the New Jersey Nets. A win tonight would lift them into the top eight in the conference. Right now, they're on the outside looking in. Some textbook basketball from Brooke Lopez. He's up to 14 points, added three rebounds as well. It hasn't exactly been a back-and-forth affair between these teams, but these two have done more than their fair share of scoring. Thanks for being with us. Now let's get back to New Jersey as the third quarter gets underway. Hi, and welcome back, everyone, in the first half. A one-sided game. We'll see if it gets any closer as play continues. And the Lakers have possession. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. Where they'll face the Wizards. It'll be the fourth game in a seven-game road trip. And Derek Favors are the fours. Anthony Morrow out there with Devin Harris and Williams. That's the group for Avery Johnson getting going here in the second half. That's where you want to be getting the majority of your shots from on offense. Morrow guarded by Kobe. Now we have a chance to see the teams that have been the NBA's best three-point shooters this month. Taking a look at New Jersey, a team that will light it up from outside. Top five in the NBA. I tell you what, when you have a month like this, the way they've been shooting it, you feel like the basket is three times as big as normal. I mean, it's hard to maintain this level of productivity, but we'll see if they can make it happen. Doubled by Bynum. Three on the clock. The Nets need to get a shot off here. The three from Morrow. The shot is off. And it's the Lakers taking it the other way. This is the third season for Anthony Morrow, the sharpshooter Clark out of Georgia Tech, and what a shooter he is. Well, I like to say if you have game, it'll travel. If you can shoot, that will always travel. I mean, this guy was undrafted out of Georgia Tech, Kevin, but he just proved to Don Nelson and the rest of the league that if you give him an open look, he's going to knock it down. And considering that Nelson is coach Chris Mullen, when he says that this guy's the best shooter he's ever coached, that's saying a lot. Gasol, and a great second effort right there. Gasol's got eight points. A difficult situation for New Jersey. Well, Clark, the Nets struggled rebounding the ball last season. Yeah, you look at the numbers, and they were tied for the third worst rebounding team in the league last year. Brooke Lopez is a good rebounder, but he needed some help. And Clark rebounding, one of those night-in, night-out type things a team can do to put itself in position to win ballgames. I've always thought rebounding was one of the most important statistics you look at in terms of success. And um, so often it separates the really good teams from those that aren't so good. The Nets have added some size. We'll see if they can make strides in that area. And here are the Nets now. After Pau Gasol's bucket. Shot's good. Here's Fisher. They're playing them tight all the way up the court right now. Full court man-to-man -man deep. The steal. Here's Harris. 
And the bucket is good. Now he'll get a trip to the stripe. A three-point play opportunity. First person foul, team's first. Looking at the game for Harris, he has 11 points. Then he's buried one three-pointer in the course of this game. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. After such a breakout year for Harris in 09, he really struggled last season, and he seemed to revert a bit in his play. Yeah, he did, but injuries were a part of that, Kevin. You can never discount what injuries do to a player. I mean and finished off by Gasol. Despite his height, he's choosy with his dunks, but when he does, make way. Shooting for Los Angeles. Shooting. That free throw good from Gasol. Gasol and Bryant speak to each other in Spanish, so their opponents aren't quite sure of what they're talking about. They do recognize, though, that combination is lethal. Here is Harris. 12 points for him. He dishes it. And get Williams. Our test against Williams. Pass to Harris. Back to Williams. Here's Lopez. Four on the shot clock. Gasol with the rebound. Well, he's had a tough time shooting the ball today. His percentage has been way down compared to what he normally does. I think that's a big reason that they're down. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. Guarded by Harris. Hacked on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. Moment to see how the schedule is looking for New Jersey. They host the 76ers after this game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Two shots. First free throw is good. Quentin Ross has checked in for New Jersey. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Harris, averaging 20 points per game. He's covered by Fisher. Favors backs down. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. His second person, second team. Shooting for New Jersey. Derek Favors. Shooting one. He can't complete the three-point play. Last season, there were some who thought that maybe changes needed to be made to the All-Star voting format. Yeah, after Allen Iverson was selected as a starter and Tracy McGrady, who hadn't played a game, was almost voted in. I like the fact the fans can vote, but maybe the percentage of, of impact that their vote has needs to be reduced. And the Nets with possession. Here is with it. 12 points for him. And here's Favors over our test. Favors can't get it to go. And they're getting it done on the glass today, Kevin. Nice advantage here on the inside. Yes, 
outside our test. Pass to Kobe. Gasol, he's guarded by Williams. But he stays with it. The second effort, and he gets it to go. They call the foul. He'll get a chance to make it three. Derek Williams. You have to block this guy out, Kevin. He's just too active on the boards to be left alone. It's been tough for them to try to slow down Gasol. He has 15 points, and he's tacked on a couple of blocks today, too. He's been putting it up, and it's been going down 100% from the floor. You've got to box out on the free throws. Put a body on somebody. The little things can make a big difference. Here is Harris. Under six minutes left in the third. Outside Williams. Favors with the ball. He's up against Gasol. Let's have a look at the league's top scores for the past month. To say these guys have been hot is an understatement. And you look at Kobe Bryant leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. Well, I'm sure the coach is pleased with his performance here recently. He's been on a nice little roll. If this keeps up, his team will definitely be moving in the right direction. Two on the clock. Harris misses. An outstanding pick there, and he still couldn't get the basket. Next time he gets a look that good, he's got to make it count. Fast to Gasol. Our test against Harris. Kobe draws the double. Fires from 14, and again it's the Lakers. He's really been the focus of their offensive game plan. And he's come through for his team as they've built this lead. He's got 12. Williams dishes to Lopez. And he makes the basket, so one free throw coming up as he'll try to make it a three-point play. Boy, he's really doing all he can to keep his team in the game here. What a tremendous effort. And the Nets making a change here. James has checked in. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Here's Fisher. Six points for him. And the Lakers call time here. Here's Fisher. I see him, I see him. Ice, ice. Ball, ball. Here's Kobe. And the Nets with possession. Here is Harris. He's got 12. Over by him. James, no good. A chance here to see Paul Gasol out of Spain now in his hard-to-believe 10th season. It sure is. Last season, Clark, he set a career high in rebounding at over 11 a game. Yeah, and he set new highs in offensive and defensive rebound, and he made the top 10 in double-doubles and the top 10 in block shots. Wow. Boy, he's starting to round into form as a dominant big man at both ends of the court. Hey, watch him. Harris with it. 
Back to James. Uncovered. Don't worry about it. It's hauled in by Bynum. Well, he was wide open for a reason. The D was just begging for him to attempt that shot. Williams against Fisher. Pass to Gasol. Nails the bank shot. Gasol's got 17. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Favors with the ball. He's up against Gasol. Favors can't get it to go. He's had some problems finding the range here in this quarter. Here's Kobe. Connects on the baseline jumper. Kobe's got 33 points. Now those are the possessions that make Coach happy. Back to James for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Here's Kobe. 33 points for him. And Bynum backing in. Fades away. No good. And the Nets now go the other way. That's pretty smart defense to let him take those shots. Here's Harris. Blocked. Now here's Bryant. Averaging 33 points a contest. Fisher against James. And Fisher kicks to Gasol. Favors brings the double. Connected on the shot. And he was fouled. A chance here for a three-point play. He's really flipped the script with his performance here in the second half. And New Jersey making some changes. Murphy comes in for Brooke Lopez. And Anthony Morrow subbed in for Derek Favors. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Lamar Odom has checked in for Bynum. Barnes comes in for Ron Artest. Sasha Vujicic has checked in for Kobe. And it's Brown in for Derek Fisher. That free throw good from Gasol. Here is Harris. He's got 12. Murphy, a screen on Oda. And here is James. Back to Harris. The baseline, Jay. Harris missing again. They've been really strong on the glass thus far. Mm -hmm, sure have. Williams against Barnes. Outside Gasol. Now Vujicic. Shot clock at five. Here's Barnes, off the mark from three. So it's New Jersey now. Now Harris lets it go from the wing, kept alive. Here's James, flushes it in. He's a fantastic rebounder on both ends of the floor, but he gives you the oh. Right back at you. Back and forth we go. You got to have a reply, right? Yep. Here is Harris. 110 left in the third quarter. It's in. He got bumped too. He'll have a chance for one more at the line. That's a nice double clutch move there on the layup. And the Lakers making a change here. Ratliff is checked in. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Here's Vujicic. Crown the pass to Odom. He's picked up by James. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Now let's check out and highlight the best defenses in the NBA. Look at the Lakers, the best defensive team in basketball. Boy, are they rugged. Points allowed is one of the key indicators for good defensive effort. And this team does a nice job because they force opponents into tough shots. They don't allow easy shots. They're all on the same page. They're aggressive. They're focused. They pay attention to detail. And for 48 minutes, they're going to make their opponents uncomfortable. Oh, 
And he's good on the second. Here's Harris. 15 points in the game. James against Odom. On the wing, Williams. Ricks it off right iron. No good. Right now, boy, they're playing strong on the glass. Plus eight in rebound. Here's Vujicic. A three ball. Scooped up. Ratliff backs him down. The second chance effort. Murphy gets the rebound. Here comes Harris. We're at the end of the third quarter with a big deficit on the scoreboard. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. Yeah, he's been filling it up, Kevin. No surprise there. He's a guy who can really do damage when he's in a groove. Lakers ahead, running away with it. Tap this Wednesday, Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers take on Danny Granger and the Indiana Pacers. It's East and West. It's the real deal. Now, while we've got a moment, we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for our Spark of the Game, presented by Sprite. Doris? Hi, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Lakers that garners the Sprite Spark today. They caught fire offensively in the second quarter and took control right there, gentlemen. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Farmar. This is Phil Jackson's lineup. They've got Matt Barnes. Brown out there with Luke Walton. Then it's Odom and Ratliff. Lopez backs in. Hits the 15-footer. Lopez has got 19 points. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. And here is Brown. Barnes with it. From downtown. Troy Murphy comes up with the rebound. Here's Farmar. Lopez with the ball. Baseline jumper. Kept alive. Goes up, buries the short-range shot. Lopez has got 21 in the game. He's got a sky-high field goal percentage, and that's because he's been working to get good looks. Odom against Murphy. Round kicks to Barnes. Jacks up a three. The shot misses. Lopez with the ball. Now Farmar. I swear I saw you. Who's got ball? Spread out, spread out. I got ball. I got ball. Lopez backs in. The baseline J. No good. And the Lakers go with it the other way. And here is Brown. Odom kicks to Barnes. He dumps it off. Here's Walton. And that's good on the layup. That's exactly the way you practice it. Hit the open man for the great look. Here's Moro. Drops. Here's Brown. Here's Odom. 
fires the three. Brown, good. Brown's got his second bucket. And here are the Nets. Now Farmar. Pass to Lopez. Shoots it. Lopez with another miss. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. Brown the pass to Odom. On the wing, Brown. And count that bucket right there. He keeps with it, and now a free throw shot for him. First personal foul, team's first. So for the Nets, Derek Favors checked in for Murphy. Williams comes in for Travis Outlaw. And Devin Harris is subbed in for Jordan Farmar. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Good for the three-point play. NBA officials do such a great job, but they continue Clark to receive a lot of criticism from fans. And I think that's just a function of being able to see everything in slow motion with multiple replays. You're right. The officials do an outstanding job. They make some mistakes, but by and large, they do an excellent job at, at calling the game. And they usually afterwards admit when they've missed a call. Exactly. That's a nice step forward. Odom on the wing. Lopez covering. The defense couldn't close out on the mid-range J, and the shooter made him pay. Williams. Harris outside. Shoot that! All you! From about 16, Williams can't get it to go. Also, Clark, when you talk about NBA officiating, the league created a video rule book online to help clarify rules for the fans. Not just for the fans. How about for the broadcasters, yes. too? I've made use <laughs> of that online, that online resource, and it's been very, very helpful. I have as well. Brown against Harris. Here's Williams. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. He's got to break out of this slump if his team wants a chance to win. Now Brown, jump off pass. Odom with it. Here's Vujicic. Here's Brown, a miss three. You know what, even if they are only so-so from deep, you can't leave players open like that from the arc. And here's Favors. Here's Harris, and again, no good by New Jersey. This is one of the key reasons why they're losing. You have to get more production out of your core star players. Morrison, he's guarded by Williams. Huyacic's shot is off. Well, he got a good look at it, but he couldn't knock it down, Kevin. Those are the ones you typically remember, the wide open misses. Here is Harris from deep, Morrow, and again, it's the Nets missing. I really don't know what to say. Maybe he was just too wide open. Brown kicks it to Odom. Rantliff sets a pick, takes the three. That's good. The defense has to know what's coming here. They've got to get to the shooters. I mean, it's that simple. Get out to the shooters and challenge the shot. Hey, get there. Now Harris. Outside Williams. Pass to Lopez. Ratliff sends it back. Here are the Lakers with the ball. A 14-2 run over the last bit. Brown against Harris. Takes a three. And it's Brown missing. And here are the Nets now. Harris passes to Williams. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Williams has got his second basket. Here's Vujicic. About three and a half minutes left to the fourth. 
Odom with it. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. Favors. They get Derek Favors. Look like a good call from here where I sit. Definitely some contact on that shot. At the line for the Lakers, Lamar Odom. Two shots. That free throw, no good. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. And he sinks the second. Lamar Odom doing all sorts of things. He's got eight points and four assists. He's getting it done, making plays by setting up his teammates and grabbing some nice boards, too. Harris kicks to Williams. The jump off from deep. Morrow kept alive. Another shot, and that one's good by Favors. You know, it went in, but even if it didn't, you could call getting a shot that close a successful offensive trip a good quality look. Kobe, that's for two, hits the quick shot. Kobe's got 35. Here is Harris. 2.36 left in the game. Timeout called the Nets. They're behind by 31. 2.34 left in the fourth. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Ratliff is checked in. Walton comes in for Ron Artest. Sasha Vujicic is checked in for Kobe. And it's Brown in for Derek Fisher. Here's Harris. Takes it up. And yep, that falls and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. At the line of the Nets, Devin Harris. Shooting the one. Lots of candy. Who wants candy? No good, and they don't get the three point play. So it's the Lakers now. Here's Vujicic, and he's able to score the bucket. Foul called by the official. So one free throw for him right here. First personal foul. The and one is good, so a three-point play that time. Here's Harris. 2.23 left in the game. Lopez backs in. Shoots it up. And it's New Jersey scoring again. That's a pretty move there, Kevin. I like how he set that one up. He got the defender on his heels and then busted the quick turnaround. Here's Vujicic and a three. The fast break left the defense discombobulated. As a result, he had the open three. And here are the Nets. Harris outside. Lopez backs in. Releases from 15. And the rebound goes to Odom. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. Brown. Up high and down hard. Way to close out an opponent. 
Kevin, I think we're done here. Fifth person, two and four. Check out the game for Shannon Brown. He's got 10 points, and he's been able to hit the three ball, picking up one from deep so far. And he makes the free throw. Here is Harris. 138 left in the fourth. He's covered by Brown. 13 feet out. Favors can't get it to go. Well, they've got the lead, and they're controlling the glass. Right now, they have a plus 10 rebound advantage. Odom on the wing. Clock at four. Here's Ratliff. No luck. And the Nets now go the other way. Morrow guarded by Odom. Out to Harris. Let's loose for three. Walt reels in the defensive rebound. The break is on. And the jam by Shannon Brown. Solid double-digit lead. Looks like now they'll just coast to the finish line. Back door, back door. Roll, roll, roll. Harris up top. He's covered by Brown. With the fadeaway. Harris missing again. The Lakers controlling the game. I got the ball. I got the ball. To Odom. Over here, over here. Favors picks him up. Gets rid of it. Brantley throws it down. I think they've sealed this one. Not enough time left to mount a comeback. Here is Harris. 19 seconds come left in, in the game. Come get it. Come get it. String, 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 string. Shoot it. The three from Morrow. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. He's shooting 14% from downtown. Here's Vujicic. Right here. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Brand player of the game, Kobe Bryant. Show us some